Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? How's it going, all you hunters? We are going to be going after another weird one. I'm not sure why this is a trophy, but today we're going to be heading over and grabbing the Upper Cathedral Key in Yahagul Unseen Village. Now, as you can see, I still have the Habajan Gaul Lantern. It doesn't work because we've already moved past it and gotten into the Blood Moon after we killed Rom. So now the only way back to Yahargul is to use the Yahargul Unseen Village Lantern. Now from here we've got to run around and do a bunch of hoopla to jump down into a cage and grab the upper cathedral key. The only way to actually get to where we want to be. And honestly, it's a little bit of a hassle if you don't know where it's at. You could be searching forever. They stuck this key off in some corner and nobody would think to go through. Now as you're running through here, make sure you get up to these bell maidens and kill them. Otherwise all these enemies around here with red vapor around them continuously respawn. They can be one of the biggest headaches in the area. We'll actually be running into something that's a bigger headache than them here shortly in a video or two. Uh, you can see I'm just kind of having a little bit of fun with the Burial Blade. It is by far my favorite weapon in the game. I wish it had a little more to it. I don't feel like they did as much as they could have with the Burial Blade. Um, remember, grab all your shinies. Might need a few quick sort of bullets. In here is a neat little thing. The Mensis ritual must be stopped lest we all become beasts. It is talking about the ritual that the college or the school of Mensis performed which put Mikalash, the host of the nightmare, into the nightmare and subsequently killed the school of Mensis. As we're coming through here you can see on the right there was the other bell maiden. She will constantly revive this giant and other enemies in this area if you don't kill it. Now honestly you need to at least take these down once otherwise they are in and or I think they call them a brick troll can be very hard to deal with just because of how versatile they gave his moveset. Uh, there is a... I'm not sure what kind of weapon he uses. Uh, a pistolier or some type of wheelchair man here. Take him down as you're taking the bell main down. He does do considerable amounts of damage unless you have high blood tinge defense. An armor set that gives high enough blood tinge defense to be worth it to run. Again, make sure to pick up all your shinies. Uh, these little things here in the corner, every time I come through here because of the sounds around here, I swear they're enemies. They're not. They're just statues. You don't have too much worry about them. Grab you some cold blood here in the corner and open this door. If you don't, you're stuck having to deal with all the mobs again. This way, if you die, you run through, just run right past everybody. Uh, there should be a neat little note up here that people tend to leave. It's, uh, Reeks of Blood Addled Hunter. Speaking of all the hunters that come through that are completely covered in their enemy's blood. Always got to give a fine upvote for those. So, now we come down and this is, this is where the confusion comes in with getting this item. You have to go up these steps and there's a piece of broken railing off to the right that you have to fall off of. Not sure why anyone would think, oh hey, broken balcony, let's jump off of it. There is another club troll here. Uh, R2 with transform barrel size, knock him off ledge, don't even worry about him. Take out the bell maiden just because they're annoying, I don't like hearing their bells ring. Now we want to jump down here in this cage through this bit of broken wall. And once we do, this body for some reason has the upper cathedral ward key, or the upper cathedral key. Which is awesome. This is what we need. We're going to head back to Hunter's Dream. And now we get to jump over to Cathedral Ward Lantern. And it's not too far of a run after we get back to Cathedral Ward. 
we're gonna be taking the same elevator that we took to get over to the abandoned old workshop. This door, again, only opens after you beat Bloodstar Beast. Once you beat Bloodstar Beast, it opens. No key, no other triggers need to happen for it. Make sure you take out this machine gunner here. But unlike last time, we're actually trying to take out the enemies on the bridge and as we make our way up through the tower, we have to get up to the upper portion of Cathedral Ward. This is one great thing about Bloodborne was they actually took the time and utilized verticality in their game. So it's not only are you just running around on a single level, you have to go up, down, and here and there. Yeah, this guy has over a million of my blood echoes from when I was trying to jump on the ledge to go to the abandoned old workshop. He was close enough to me when I died that the game thought he was the enemy that killed me. You can pick up a quick blood tinge gem here in this chest. If it's not worth it. It is a very bad blood tinge gem. We've already done a video on how to get a 31.5% blood tinge gem that is a billion times better than that. Uh, stupid machine gunner. They always catch you off guard sometimes because they'll fire pretty quickly and it's just hard to dodge out of. This troll is, well, being a troll and I thought I could be one back and hit him through the wall. Eh, that don't work. So now I'm gonna see if I can kill him before he decides to nope. He nope right back out the room. Lovely. Come here. It's time to die. Do you not see the Reaper Scythe in my hand? It, it's your time to head on out the door. That that's a headache and a half. But they don't do much damage when you're stupidly over leveled. So now that all we gotta do is head out this archway, take a right, and it's about halfway around the tower. Got a nice little ladder that we're gonna hit up. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and head around the tower a little bit more and take out the gunners that are up top. There's really no point. I think there's a scurrying beast over there. At this point in the game, you don't need what the scurrying beast drops. Ooh, it has been, it's been a day of running in Bloodborne. So now we're going to come in here. Watch out because both these wheelchair men have the flame sprayers. They don't do much damage, but if they catch you off guard, it sucks. And you can actually see the biggest backdraw that I hate about the barrel blade is if your camera is facing too far up, you can just swing right over the heads of enemies. And you can... It can put you in a very bad spot. Now, here in this chest, if you haven't seen the video, I'll tag it up top, is where you pick up the Radiant Sword Hunter badge. It, it's a really good badge to pick up. You, you need to pick it up so you can get Lowick's Holy Blade. And here's the door that we use Upper Cathedral Key on. And once you do, walk out, you'll see Upper Cathedral Ward, and it's, I believe it's as soon as you reach the top of these stairs it triggers the trophy and it's just another silver trophy for the game should be what is it called the choir it's to gain entry to the realm of the choir the high stratum of the healing church which would be upper cathedral ward now don't don't bolt hunter mark away as soon as you get that come across this bridge and take out these two grave keepers once you do, the actual lantern for Upper Cathedral Ward is at the end of the bridge. So if y'all thought everything here was quite helpful and you learned where to go or how to get here, hit the like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell.